All right, and here we are on the home page of our WordPress Power new version 3 template that we've been talking about. And you see that you have, for example, on the home page here, you have these three boxed elements that really has become one of our most requested features. And you're going to see how easily you can literally point and click and add all of this to your pages quite simply. So this is just a sampling of what's possible. And we will put this link, you see that it resides at a funny looking link at uh, our IP address, but we'll place that in the chat box for you so you can click and access it and really look at it as we're going through it. So, you know, they have these things, which has always been a, a fun and popular request. People like this, you see that you can add anything you want inside these, including videos and uh, any sort of text and buttons. Here we have a map. You'll literally be able to add this map with a um, one click of a button. So you no longer have to figure out how to get a map on your page. Here, for example, is a scrolling show of your recent blog articles. So they're front and center. Here's just some extra little fun text. So Let's log into the dashboard and you already know how to access the dashboard. It's your domain name slash what WP dash admin, right? Same here. And it'll bring you to your login screen. Log in. And you're taken to a very familiar because it's all WordPress powered all the same. So we're not going to review much of what we've already spent time doing. I want to show you the new and improved template that we're offering you here. So what's amazing is you not only have easy point and click feature ability on the inside you're going to see how we can go to the front end and edit. So I'm going to show you the two easy ways you can create and edit your content. So when you sign up, you are going to get this sample homepage that you can either delete or edit and add your own content to. So this box here, you're already familiar with the content window, but if you notice it's empty because in this new version, Nothing takes place in this area. All of your content and elements take place below it right here. So remember, you're going to be able to go in and edit anything you want and add anything you want here, but you'll also be able to go to the front end and edit that way, as we'll see in a moment. So here we have all of the available options, which can do everything and anything you want to achieve. And here you have some of the included elements. So you see when you hover, you get an edit option, a duplicate option. So if you like this and want to clone it and duplicate it for use uh, elsewhere on the page, you simply duplicate any element you need and it's a done deal. Or of course, you can just delete it and remove it altogether. The blue boxes here represent rows. So these rows are different elements. Now you could feasibly put everything inside one row, but if you start doing things where you're breaking them up and you have the three images on the home page, that's where you're going to start with additional rows. Um, and you can add as many as you need. When you go to the bottom, here's your empty row. It says you would drop module here. So Let's take a look at some of these in order. Here is the accordion, right? So if you click on this or drag it to where you want to add it, if we want to add the accordion here under the text headline, we simply drop it in and it opens up a new user-friendly, easy to see text box. You title it what you want, you select the color that you want, select some appearance, and here you literally just start typing. This can be, how much do you charge? And then here, your familiar looking text box. 
with all the menu options, this is where you type whatever you wish. Here's where you can add your video, you can style it, you can have buttons. When you're ready to add a new accordion row, just add new row and a new thing pops up and you have your next accordion. All right, and then when you're done, you just simply click save. For now, we're gonna cancel this. That's the accordion. This is a box. So this box is simply, if you want to highlight something, you would drag this here, and now you have the ability to have something nicely boxed in. So if you want something on a red background, you would select red here, you would title it, you would add your content that you want to insert into a nice colorful visual box, and that's what this will be. If you want to call out, we already have the call out here. If I'm going to edit it, I'll show you what the call out does. The call out, let's go right to the home page so you can see what we're creating here. The call out is this nice box here that says call us today. Everything is really self-explanatory here. You can change the style of where you want the text versus the buttons and you can change the color scheme and on and on. And of course you click save and you're good to go. Then you also have a divider which is what it says. This will just divide certain elements on the page. So if you drag this if you drag this here, if you want a divider under the headline, you pull this up and then you can choose, do I want a solid, a dotted, a dashed, or a double line? How many, uh, how thick do I want it? What do I want the color? What margins do I want to be? Um, and most of these you can leave blank and just be happy with the default. Or you can add it and test it and see what it looks like. Um, and then a feature. If you want to take your feature box, this is where you have something really neat. And you have something where you have um, a picture floating left. And then you have your, maybe you have your dog walking image. And then your, uh, your text, your, your, your title is going to say dog walking services. And then you're going to talk for a few sentences about it. And um, this is actually what's used in this section so you can float something to the left and have the a content piece over here and on and on and what's great is any of these you'll see so let me show you if we add a new row here you see you have options right you have your edit delete and duplicate and then here if you hover over the new row, you have options. You can also duplicate any row. Like if I wanted to duplicate this entire row, so I don't have to reinvent the wheel, but just edit some of this, I just go here, I click duplicate, and you see it now allows me to edit whatever I want here and go forward. I could also delete any of these if I don't need them. But what's also great, let's say I duplicated this and I want a feature box, but I only want, I want to split it where I want half of this part to be a feature and then I want half of it to be something else. Look what happens if you hover over this part with any row or element. You see you get an option for spacing. So right now it's selected to take up the full width. If I look here, this is 50-50. This is going to split the row into two equal boxes. So then I can drag. Look, I click it. Now you see it doesn't just give me the option to drag one module here to take up the entire width of the row. It now split it because I selected the 50-50. I can now drag a module here. I can drag another module here. And now on the page, it'll look side by side. I can go further. I can split this into threes, into fours, into fives, into sixes. I can split it two times where, as you see, I just selected this one. Now it gives me a smaller percentage on the left with a wider module on the right. And then it gives you several others. I can split them even further. So you have all of this capability to really achieve the design and look that you want. So let me show you. I could even take this feature here 
or this feature here and I can drag it into this module if I don't want it there after all. So I just dragged it there and then see I could see how that looks or I can drag it over here and I could duplicate this one if I want and then drag it over here. I can go back up here and if I want a, a call out button over there I'll just literally drag it down to the spot that I want and simply place it there in the area that I want right here. So if I want it there, let's just for fun see what this looks like. We'll go, hello, hi again, and let's just save this because now we have this fun little feature area down here. I am going to save my changes. Then I'm going to refresh the front page. And here I have split into thirds. That's not that attractive because we sort of put the feature box in here, but you see it's split into thirds. So now this is a great example of the front end. I told you that you can take any element you want and edit any page via the front end. What I mean is when you are logged in, only when you are logged into your dashboard, you can scroll down and on every page you will see something that says turn on builder. So we're going to click turn on builder and you see all of our options are available right here. Not only that, I can literally hover over anything I want and edit it, delete it, duplicate it, remove it, whatever I want to do. So for example, I'm going to take this and I'm going to hover over here and I'm going to delete this box. Then I have these two. So let's say I only want these two, but I already have it in thirds. So I'm going to go over here to the row. And again, each row still has all of these options. So I'm going to change from the three. I want it two. So I'm going to click two and look at this. It now put it into two modules. But if I want them side by side, all I got to do is hover here, drag this one over, and now it's there. So let's say I don't want this one after all. I only want one call out. So I will delete this one and I will go back here and I will turn this into a single row and now I have it as a single row. I can also hover over this, click edit, and I'm editing the same exact thing but from the front page. So if I say hello, it's me. I'm going to save the changes and right there the change is done. However, in order to make it live, I have to click save down here in the corner and then it adds itself to the page. So what I can do is you can edit in real time. I can hover over any piece and simply click edit and now I am editing that element from the front page. I click save and I am in business. You can add rows from the edit screen. See when you scroll down, if I want to add this row, I can go and add these elements here. So if I want the divider, I will just drag the divider up and you see it'll show me wherever I can put it. So now it goes here and let's say I want a nice divider. We'll make it a nice purple. I want it to be 20 pixels from all other content around it. I will click save and instantly I have a nice purple divider. I click save and I'm good to go. Uh, again, this is available for any piece that you want. You can duplicate from here. It's so self-explanatory. You hover over any piece and it shows you the options for the row. You hover over any piece and you can edit, duplicate, or delete the piece. 
How much simpler can that be, right? So what we what we believe, and then you would just save your changes and you're good to go. And remember, nobody can see this unless you or they are logged into the dashboard, so you don't have to worry. Um, this is a great thing for making this template as unique as you are and you want. This really helps you differentiate yourself while sticking to what we believe are the best practices. So we hope you take us up on this. We hope that you will get in here and use this version for yourself and play around with it and really see how much ability you have. So that's the short and long of what's possible here. And just for the record, we've only discussed the home page. This is, of course, the same for any page you deal with. Uh, you go to your about page. This is this all has the same ability. You can turn on builder here as I just did. And now I'm going to either edit this text for my about page or if I want to add modules, it says drop module here. I can add a box here. You get the point, and everything is possible. So now I just added a nice box that I can edit. I can also make this two, I can make this two columns if I want to. I go over here and I split it up. Now I've separated this to two columns, and I can add another module here. Maybe I want a gallery here. So I put a gallery um, drop, and then it'll ask me where I want to get my, uh, my pictures from. So that's basically the overview of what we're trying to help you accomplish in this new version. You have at least 17 different elements that you can place on your page on various pages in different formats in different ways and really you could achieve whatever you want that you can envision. So I'm going to hop back on camera see if I can't answer any more of your questions and we'll take it from there. Hang on for a second, I'm coming back on screen.